Today we're making this spring inspired ladybug cake. We start by adding a dab of our red buttercream onto our cake board and then we're adding our 8 inch dark chocolate cake layers. These cake layers are super moist and delicious. I've shared the recipe before so we're not going to go over it today. We're adding an even layer of red American buttercream on top of this. If you want to use a less sweet frosting like Swiss meringue or my hybrid buttercream, feel free to. It should work great on this cake recipe as well. Once our cake layers are stacked, we're trimming that top cake layer to give the cake kind of a domed shape and I left that top cake layer unleveled to make it easier to get that shape. We're carefully covering this in a thin layer of red buttercream to act as a crumb coat and lock in all of those crumbs so that our second layer of frosting will be beautiful and smooth. After chilling the cake in the freezer, I'm marking off kind of two thirds of the cake and we're gonna frost that section with our remaining red buttercream. I love to use a small acetate sheet, which is really just a thin layer of plastic to smooth out the frosting on cakes like this that have curved surfaces. It makes it so much easier to just get a really smooth finished look. And next we pipe on our black buttercream onto that remaining portion of the cake. You want this line here to be pretty clean and smooth because it's going to be the lady's bug's head and that's why I'm using a piping bag for this portion. Getting frosting on a cake like this super smooth is always challenging so be sure to take your time and just try to be patient as you do it. And then this cake really starts to come to life with our fondant facial features. I highly recommend using circle cutters if you have them for the eyeballs and the spots. And then for the antenna, I definitely recommend inserting toothpicks into the antenna to make them easier to add into your cake. Next, use a large offset spatula to draw a line down the ladybug's back to make it look like it has wings, and then just add on your spots and you're all ready to go. If you want to make this ladybug cake at home, the recipe is linked in the video description, or you can always Google Chell Sweets Ladybug Cake. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and until next time, happy baking!